Okay, taking a look inside the Supernova control box, uh, there was a single screw here, so we can take that off. And I'm going to be careful here, I'm going to use this plastic uh, knife here to point at things. Uh, so we have a, a bunch of transformers. Uh, one here, uh, <coughs> another one here, uh, uh, and one under here. I think we're going to have to take this uh, cooling fan assembly off here. Uh, there's two screw points there, so I'm going to take that off. Let's have a look at that. Uh, fairly simple circuit board. Obviously, it's simple once you've done it. It's not simple to make it from scratch. Um, I can't work out whether it's double-sided. I think it's only single-sided even. So uh, I'll take a bunch of good photos of this. And then some 400 volt, 470 microfarad capacitors there, uh, seemingly in parallel. Um, so that's that. And the uh, mod and so forth here comes into the control uh, box. Uh, there seems to be what, some thyristors or triax uh, over here. Uh, also something else here. The rest of it seems to be on a heat sink here and the whole of the rest of the assembly seems to be on this thick um, insulating uh, base with a, a big offset to prevent any uh, shorting out uh, to ground. So I'm going to take these uh, screws off here so that we can see what's under here. So I've taken it off, the two screws were there and there, and I think what we're seeing here is a flyback transformer, which I think is uh, for creating the uh, high voltage for the magnetron. So yes, we've got this core going through here with... Uh, uh, various windings on there. Someone who knows more about this will be able to confirm. And so we have some resistor banks there. And you can see it's just a heat sink over there with this big board on. And the main transformer here coming from the uh, actually. We have the input power here. There, so 220 volts, 50 hertz. That's going into our power switch over here, and that comes out into our uh, transformer here. And then that's going into the flyback, if that's what it is. And also we have an output from here, and I guess this might be for the heating of the magnetron, and this is for the high voltage uh, component. Uh, and then maybe there is some sort of switching control going on here uh, from this board, into which uh, the modulation signal comes from the front through into here. And we also have, uh, this is the on-off pulsing, uh, which is looks like it's just coming straight into a bank of resistors here. Uh, so I guess you guys can work that out. I'll do some still photography and you can uh, take a really hard look at those.